Am I the asshole for not giving my parents their son back? When I, 26 male, was 20 years old my mum and dad had a one-year-old son Eddie, they were struggling in their marriage and had been for years. They thought having another baby would magically fix things but they were wrong as it just caused more problems and strained their finances. They were in over their heads and decided go give Eddie up for adoption I begged them not to but they had made up their minds. Social workers asked other family members if anyone would like to take Eddie, both my older brothers refused and my grandparents were too old so I took my brother in. This royally annoyed my parents and I was threatened with disownedment but I didn't care as I already had a place of my own with an ex at that time. My folks lost their paternal rights and I legally adopted my brother and I love him so much and was proud to be his daddy. My brothers didn't approve of me adopting him but I didn't care as they had never met him even when he was still with my parents. My grandparents helped me out a lot and were great. Unfortunately they have both passed since then and left me what money they had left to raise my bro. My folks and siblings were pissed but my aunt and uncles didn't care and thought it was best. At family events over the years my folks would be uncomfortable when I'd show up with Eddie but within the last year they had seemed to warm up a tad and I figured they themselves wanted to act more like grandparents as he is legally my son. During the last few months however I've noticed my parents and brothers try and talk to Eddie on their own about if he knows who his mummy and daddy is. He says I'm daddy and usually I walk in and scold them before the conversation can go much further than that. I've yet to tell him the truth and I know I have to one day but I don't think now is the right time and even if it was I should be the one to tell him. The other day I caught my mum trying to talk to Eddie about this again when she was visiting me, Ed and my current partner. I asked my boyfriend to take Eddie out for a bit where me and my mum got into an argument, she thinks I'm being a terrible parent and that it's time she and my dad take Eddie back. I told her that there is no way I'm letting that happen so I kicked her out. Now my parents are threatening to sue for custody and my brothers agree while aunts and uncles say they support me no matter what. So am I the asshole? Edit. Whoa I expected a few replies at least not this many, I have decided that I'm going to tell him tomorrow. Have a me and him day and explain it the best I can and answer what I can. Not the asshole. He's legally your son. And you're the best for him. I would start reconsidering having your parents over. Also, start considering, maybe consulting with professionals, the best way to handle questions he might start to ask within the next few years, either because your parents say something, or in general. Not the asshole. Why are these people still in your life? Your son is not an accessory that they can pick up and drop off whenever they feel like it. The only way they would be worthy of taking an Eddie would be if they loved him and cared about his best interests. But if they loved him and cared about his best interests then they wouldn't be trying to rip him away from the only father he has ever known. That would be so unbelievably confusing for him. Plus, let's face it, it probably wouldn't stick. Also, if they were good parents, they wouldn't be trying to do this to you, their son. You did something so incredibly mature and caring six years ago. I don't know why your brothers also suck so much, but clearly you should keep your aunts and uncles and ditch the rest of them. NTA consider going low contact. They can sue if they want but they fucked up when they put him up for adoption so they aren't going to win this fight. Now my parents are threatening to sue for custody. Let them try. From your story you legally adopted the kid, they have no rights. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. But you need to tell Eddie. Ideally would not be, the talk, but something that was always known. Does he know he's adopted? He should not hear it from anyone else, and interrupting, scolding W will just make him worry. He needs to hear it from you. That you loved him so much you chose to adopt him. That his grandparents, bio parents, love him too. That they are now his grandparents and that is good. Not the asshole. When I come across stories like this one, my mind goes back to that Simpsons episode, you're like a flower growing out of a compost heap, probably not a verbatim quote, but you get my drift. You took care of your little brother when nobody else had the balls to do it. You deserve a medal for being awesome. You should talk to him about being adopted, though. The question will come up sooner or later, and it's best to be open about it. Your parents filing for custody of a child they gave up. Sorry, but that's just horrible. Tear little Eddie away from what he has known as his family all his life. How selfish and deluded do you have to be to even think about that? Not the asshole. Eddie is your son now, and they need to respect your choice to tell him when you, him are ready. They gave up any right they had to have an opinion in it when they went behind your back to try and tell your son he's adopted.
Not the asshole he is a real person, they can't just abandon him and reclaim him when they like. If you have adopted him, I doubt the courts would reverse this just because your mom might want another chance. Not the asshole. Could you imagine if the legal system actually allowed biological parents to sue for custody after they gave up their rights? I'd stop contact with them, he's your son now and you get to decide what's best for him. NTA, kids aren't something you just decide to drop when in a situation like theirs. They got no real chance to get the custody back anyway, and they shouldn't get it. If you wouldn't have taken him, who knows where he would have landed. I'm daddy. My boyfriend. Is there an undercurrent of homophobia that's causing them to be this way? Not the asshole. He is your son. I would recommend a good long period of no contact with your parents. During that period you need to tell your son about his adoption. When, and if, you let parents back in life it needs to be on the ground rules that they are his grandparents if they can't accept that back to no contact. He is your son and you set the rules for his life based on what is best for him. No one else. Not the asshole. As you say, they terminated their parental rights. That is biologically your brother, yes. But you raised him. That is your son. And if you want to protect him from the info that the people who gave birth to him are seriously shitty, you should. Not the asshole. Your parents lost the ability to fight you over this when they put him up for adoption, then tried to keep you from adopting the baby. If they lost their paternal rights, and you legally adopted Eddie, then they have absolutely no grounds to sue. Edit that being said, you should probably start looking into a decent lawyer, just in case. Not the asshole. If my maths is correct, Eddie is now seven. He's had you as his parental figure for all of his life that he can remember, he has reached the period that he can't go to your parents, for the sake of his mental health. It would be confusing and distressing for him to think of the people who he's known as his grandparents, as his parents. Don't let them take him away. Lawyer up and be ready for a legal battle. They might be making empty threats, but you need to be ready if they're serious. Not the asshole they lost their parental rights for a reason. However as a child who was adopted it's time to tell him. There's a ton of kids books that you can read to him and he will understand. I was four when I was told and it didn't faze me. I do realize it's a little more touchy being his sibling but at six he needs to know before they tell him and he feels betrayed by you. Also good for you for stepping up and being a great dad at such a young age. So your parents and brothers were fine with Eddie going to foster care, but not going with you. Honestly, they are monsters. Obviously they can't get custody, so that's the easy part. But, do you want these people who would have given up their child, nephew to the system but are angry at you for taking him, but now want him back, in your life? I'd go and see with them right away and lean on the rest of your family. Only at the very end does Op Roundabout say he is gay. Anyone else think that's the reason why the fam is acting weird? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. But you should tell your boy the truth, so he can't be manipulated with the truth later. And are your parents trying to gain custody because they actually want the money that was given to raise him? I find the timing suspicious. Maybe your siblings think they will get a share. NTA but can I tell you about my adoption experience? I was raised knowing I was adopted and when I was 15 my bio mom called me on the phone. Freaked me out. I wish my parents had considered letting me be raised with the casual knowledge of who my bio parents were. It would have been less wrenching when I found out. My bio father married my bio mom and had three kids. I was the youngest. She was ill and he could not care for us so we went to an aunt and uncle's. After time he took back my older brothers but left me, I was so young, had never known anyone but aunt and uncle. I am grateful I had a loving home but wish I had been raised knowing I had brothers and that my uncle was my dad. Well, not the asshole for the question you asked, but you are the asshole for not being honest with your son. It shouldn't be some deep dark secret but something he's always known. You've got to tell him. Does he know that he's adopted? He should also know his full history. You go right ahead and sue. I will take great pleasure in watching you explain to a judge why you signed away your rights to your son and attempted to abandon him in foster care, only to want your rights back years later when all the hard work was over and done with. Please? Please sue me so I can watch the judge rip you a new asshole and then force you to pay for all my court fees and lawyer fees. If you want to fuck yourself out of a lot of money and never see me or Eddie ever again, then by all means, sue me. Nothing would make me happier at this point. Not the asshole. Your parents are terrible and cake eaters. 
You are the legal parent. If they take you to court, they will not have a leg to stand on. Not the asshole, keep standing up for Eddie, stay strong my friend. Not the asshole, he is your son. Not the asshole and I would get a lawyer. So. Many. Holes. How do these blatantly made up stories get so many long comments lmao? Not the asshole. I'm cynical enough to think the inheritance from your grandparents might have something to do with how your parents and siblings are suddenly acting like your son as someone they have any interest in or rights to. Protect your son. Not the asshole. They gave up their rights, as long as he has been meeting all milestones and is growing up healthy and well cared for, I don't think most courts will want to put him back in a neglectful home. You need to stay away from their toxicity. Not the asshole but you should talk to Eddie about it before they get to him as they will distort the truth to their advantage. Not the asshole but you probably need to go no contact with your parents and brothers. They don't respect your boundaries, and are a threat to your family. Your parents gave up their rights, they did not want your brother, and you are his father now. They don't get to change their minds now, and I'd seriously question their motives. They seem to be think they want him now, but they aren't raising him, so how long until they were over him again if they got him back, which should never happen by the way. And why don't they respect that you are his parent now? I would cut contact with them. They don't care about any potential damage they may cause, they are trying to interfere in your relationship. They want to rip your child from his home, and none of that is acceptable. OMG you are not the asshole they are. I am glad you had your grandparents and you still have your aunts and uncles. I think you need to get a restraining order for you parents and brothers because I really think they might try and kidnap your poor brother son. Please be careful and make sure they can not take him from school daycare ever. I do hope you keep us updated if they try and sue for custody though I think a judge would have to be insane to give it to them. Not the asshole. Sorry to say this, but get a lawyer ASAP and stop letting your parents have alone time it's Eddie. They are not doing this in his best interest. You are his father, legally and for all intents and purposes. I'm raising my niece as my daughter and have had full custody since she was 13 malleants she's now almost 6. I was told a long time ago to not sweat those threats of them, taking her back. It's not gonna happen. You are the parent. They could ask, sure. But honey, asking ain't gettin'. Quote. Not the asshole. They can have fun suing for, custody, as this is legally your son and they have zero rights to him. You have not been a babysitter for their child they gave a child up for adoption and are no longer parents of said child. You may want to speak with a lawyer and for sure limit contact with your parents. Not the asshole. Your parents wanted to abandon Eddie and then you legally adopted him as your son as far as Eddie knows he is your son you are his father you do the things a father should. And know the parents who were going to abandon him wants him home because he's close and they still probably think that Eddie is their son. He isn't, not anymore and they did this they created him physically in moments of idk passion. Stupidity. Wine. And kept him because he could be a toy fairy. But little boy known as Eddie his likes his dislikes his choice of friends, the happy times the sad times his temper that's your son that's you thick and thin. Congrats your son sound pretty cool. Not the asshole. You've provided a child they didn't want with a stable home life, and he deserves that. They're just mad that he wasn't completely removed from their lives and have to deal with the guilt of their own failures every day. That's the only reason they want him back, to make themselves feel better. You keep doing what you're doing and being a great dad, I wouldn't ever leave your son alone with them though. Not the asshole. They're the terrible parents, not you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole and you are doing God's work which stared at a very young age. Just imagine a full sibling adopted out. I think that Eddie needs to know the truth when he can process it, and in the meantime you need to give every single family member a large piece of your mind. Not the asshole. He's your son. They would most likely give him back to you again anyway. They lost their parental rights and don't deserve him. Keep your son far away from them and your brothers too. The best age to tell kids things like the fact they're adopted is between the ages 3 and 5, I hope he's still in that range. Also not the asshole. Not the asshole dude. Also you made a typo in the title. It's your son, not theirs. They gave up that right years ago when they didn't want to deal with a baby. You did such a great job that now they are jealous and want back in, well that ship has sailed. Not the asshole. They adopted him out. If it was a stranger that adopted him and not you then they wouldn't even be able to see him. 
Also it's up to you to tell him when you feel he's ready to understand. Not the asshole, they didn't want him, they made that clear. I can't imagine how that would be to tell the truth to him. Actually, I am not your dad. Your grandparents are your real parents, but they didn't want you, and didn't even want you in the family at all. Not the asshole, although you don't feel it is the right time to tell Eddie about his parentage, you probably need to do so anyway. He is probably confused about why people who know who his dad is keep asking him who his daddy is. Your family seems hellbent on telling him so unless you cut them all off completely, he's probably going to find out. You need to be the one to tell him. Not the asshole but you need to start telling him the truth in an age-appropriate way now. Now now now. Because if you don't, someone else will and they won't care about being appropriate or kind if it means hurting you. I'm adopted, and I've never not known, which I think is vastly better than finding out at an older age. Not the asshole. Lawyer up. I don't think they have a case but it would be good for you to watch out just in case those aren't empty threats. Eddie does know who his daddy is, it's you. I would talk to a therapist instead of listening to us netizens about how to handle this, but I do know that your son should be hearing the truth from you, not your flaky parents. Not the asshole stop taking him to their home or attending family gatherings. They signed over their rights so they will not win in court. 